What's up guys, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So really quick, I am going to test to see if the Fitbit Ionic is actually waterproof. I don't really want to do it because my Blaze, uh, my Fitbit Blaze totally took a dump in the water and in the ocean in Costa Rica and never came back to life. It literally vibrated until it died. <laughs> That's what she said. Sorry. But if you're wanting to get your Fitbit Ionic or a Fitbit or a fitness tracker, please check in the links in the description below. Also like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the swimming app, the swimming uh, section. If you can see here, it's actually got a setting. I just hope you can see. If you click here, and it's got exercise settings. If you can see, can you see that? Yeah, exercise settings. And then you can go through different ones, and that one says swim. Okay, you click it, and then you go ahead and push play. So let's hope for the best. Let's see what happens. And I'm willing to put a wager that it's probably going to be okay. Ah, I'm so worried about it because it's like 300 bucks. I don't want to ruin it. But let's go take a look. Um, I'm gonna do about five laps, hopefully. Well, we'll see. They're gonna be slow laps, so give me a break. I'm not a swimmer by nature. But we're going under. And good to go. Let's go see. Alright, let's check. Looks like we're still going. That's good. I told you I'm not a strong swimmer. Strong swimmer, but like, like two seconds at a time. Looks like. Thing to stop. All right. Well, Houston, we have a problem. Um, okay. So it's not responding, but I think that's due to hands being wet. Ah, I'm wrong. 
you're supposed to <laughs> click the button on the side. So if you're doing that, and then again, and that's that's actually pretty smart. Look, you see this super tiny button, super tiny dot right there? Can you see it? That means click here because obviously the touch screen is not going to work if it's wet. Yeah, it's not working. Okay. Let's see. End this exercise. Yes. All right, nice work. Three minutes, 125 meters, five lengths. Uh, that's cool. It tells you exactly how many lengths it was. That's neat. It doesn't tell you the calories or anything, but five lengths. That's cool. It tells you actually how many how many uh, laps you did. So that's neat. That's interesting. Um, I will say this is the first time using it. This is the first time using it for a swimming workout, obviously, and it still looks, everything looks fine. Um, I have used a lot of the other exercise programs. Let's see which ones I used. Run, bike, now swim, treadmill, weights. I haven't used the interval timer and I haven't used the workout one because if I'm working out, it's with weights. So, seems to not be acting funky. Everything seems good to go. Um, I would obviously do your research, but if you want to go ahead and pick up one, check it out in the links in the description below, and I'd say it's great. Also, you can link up music to this one, which means you don't have to have your cell phone with you, as well as um, it has its own personal coach, its own relaxation, meditation. You can put, it's got like a Starbucks app, it's got a music app, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. So. 99.9% .9 of which I have no clue how to use, but regardless, have a good day guys.